Thank you so much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I just want to get right to the weather. you got things to do. Don't want to waste your time. And we're watching some dust kind of plowing our way, moving into our direction. Here's Africa. Now, as we get into later this month, even as soon as this weekend, we're going to see thicker dust arriving. Uh, but as we get into later this month and next month, we get into that really dusty time where we could see surges of dust moving across the Atlantic. Here's the Caribbean Gulf of Mexico right here. And you see this light brown shading or tan shading. That is some light dust, and that's not good with the uh, air quality issues we already have, as you well know, with the uh, drought conditions, the uh, fire conditions that we've been dealing with, a lot of smoke mixing with this dust, losing, uh, uh, reducing the air quality. So thinking of you, if you have breathing issues. By tomorrow, this is tomorrow, the dust stretching into parts of uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, over toward Belize, Mexico, even Western Cuba. Now, let me look at, I want to skip ahead here to Friday. Friday, it lessens some. Okay, we still have some dust around in spots, but not as much. Still some dust over toward Trinidad out in Tobago, parts of Venezuela, uh, Dominica, Martinique, Guadalupe, seeing the dust, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis. But look at this as we get into the weekend, we get another surge and some darker brown shadings here telling me we're going to have some thicker dust moving in this weekend into the Eastern Caribbean and then trying to work across. Let me stop it here. This is on Sunday feeding across Puerto Rico. We're going to have some thicker dust. So kind of our first big batch of dust headed in this season. I'm going to monitor this carefully for the air quality. Quality. So a surge of dust headed our way. On top of the dust, I'm monitoring the tropics, of course, very carefully, simply going forward just a few weeks away from the heart of hurricane season. Here's the Caribbean, and I'll dive back into the Caribbean in just a second and get to specific forecast. Nothing really doing out there. Keep an eye on these old fronts, one that raised by Bermuda. Keep an eye on the coast of Africa. Very soon, we'll see our first tropical wave of the season moving off. But this is way too dry. We have water restrictions all over the place. If you have one, you are not alone. Uh, we've got the water shortages. This just an easterly flow. St. Lucia, Barbados may get clipped by a shower, spotty shower, Dominican Republic. The best chance of rain today will be about Nicaragua south or Costa Rica, Panama, and that's even some scattered showers. Not a lot. Colombia, Guyana, and Suriname, we've seen that rain chance drop off. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, mainly dry weather. Now, pulling forward, we could get a couple overnight showers possible. Just in the higher terrain with the daytime heating. It has been scorching hot. We've had heat advisories out from Puerto Rico back through uh, Belize, just dealing with that heat. This is tomorrow. Small chance of a shower. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, Barbados, Grenada. That rain chance very limited across Trinidad and Tobago. Look at Jamaica. So dry. That rain chance is so small and this continues back through the Western Caribbean. Even tomorrow, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, the rain chance is going to drop off further. A lot of times we have rain in one spot and not the other. As a hole right now, there's just not a lot of rain to speak of. Now going forward into the end of the week, a slightly better chance. Late on Thursday, more of an easterly kick could give us a better chance of a spotty shower, but look at Belize, still very dry. Honduras, the same thing. Guatemala, passing shower. Mexico, we are too dry over toward the Yucatan and El Salvador. So watching all over the place, we need to get some rain. There are some signs by the weekend into next week. We'll see the pattern breaking down some with a better chance of rain in the outlook. Of course, by the weekend, as I was just mentioning, the dust though, that is also going to be uh, increasing. So a lot to cover. I'm watching the trends for you very carefully. And you see today and tomorrow in Jamaica, only a 20% chance of a stray shower, primarily dry Belize, that rain chance next to nothing, 10, 20% chance. Let me know if you get one. I know a lot of us uh, have just been super dry with that smoke in the area. Over toward the Bahamas, a dry day north, central, and south covering the Bahamas, even down through the Turks and Caicos. That rain chance stays limited behind the front that moved by uh, yesterday. And in Grenada, small chance of a shower, uh, only a 20% chance. Totally different from last week. Last week, we were dealing with some heavier rain in spots. Not the case. Uh, last week uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, we had some heavier rain on Tuesday of last week. Not the case this week. That small 10% chance of a shower, and that is it. Now, hurricane season, as I mentioned, starts June 1st. So we're just weeks away. In the month of May, there have been four hurricanes on record and several tropical storms. So things do pop up. We do get named systems this time of year. As I showed you earlier, I am watching the trends, keeping an eye on everything, the dust, what's going on on the coast of Africa, and watching the old fronts. I got you covered on this channel. I do it for safety. Thank you for being part of this channel to be ahead of the upcoming hurricane season. Please share this with your friends and family, and I hope you have a good day ahead.